In this video, we will show you how to reverse a percentage increase or decrease. You may know how to increase an amount by 10%, but do you know how to find out what an amount was before it was increased? It's not as easy as just subtracting 10%. Our objectives in this video are to help you understand when to reverse a percentage increase or decrease, and show you how to reverse those percentage changes. Like we did in the previous lessons, let's start with a timed question to base our learning point on. Question 1. In 2020, the income of Store X was £340,000. The income of Store X grew by 10% from 2019 to 2020. What was the income of Store X in 2019? You might think this is easy. We just find 10% of £340,000 and take it away from £340,000 to get what the income was before the increase. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more complicated than that. The key step is to think of your original amount as 100%. If that original amount in this case from 2019, has been increased by 10%, what percentage is it at now? Simply 110%. You might appreciate now why we can't just take away 10% from the new figure. If we now want to have 110% and find 10% of that, we get 11%. Taking away 11% from 110% gives us 99%, not what we wanted. We wanted to get back the original 100% figure. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? So far, we have called the original amount 100% and increased that by 10% to 110%. You must convert that 110% to a decimal. What is 110% as a decimal? 1.10. If you weren't sure, you divide a percentage by 100 to convert it into a decimal. And what do we do with that decimal? Divide your new number by it to find the original amount. In this question, we divide 340,000 by 1.10 to get 309,090.91. This was the income of Store X in 2019. If you want, you can check by increasing this amount by 10%, which will get you 340,000. So let me summarize these steps again on how to approach this type of question. Step one, call your original amount 100%. Step two, apply the percentage increase or decrease to that 100%. For example, an 8% decrease would bring us to 92%. Step three, convert this new percentage figure into a decimal by dividing by 100. 92% would become 0.92. Step four, divide your new amount by that decimal to find the original amount. To reverse an 8% decrease, we would divide by 0.92. Don't worry if it hasn't clicked just yet. Let's practice this quirky concept with a few examples to help you feel more confident with reversing percentage differences. Let's start with a straightforward question. Try to apply the exact method we just learned. Question 2. Jack's car dropped in value by 23% in the year after he bought it. If the car's value is now £24,500, what was the value of Jack's car when he first bought it? Hopefully you did something a little like this. Call the original value of Jack's car 100%. After it decreased by 23%, the value would now be 77% of the original value. 77% as a decimal is 0.77. £24,500 divided by 0.77 gives us 31,818 pounds and 18 pence. So your answer should have been option D. How did you do? We'll keep on going with some more questions to make sure you've definitely got the concept. This question is in the exact same style as the one we have just practiced. 
The idea is to master the strategy and be able to get the right answer faster each time. Question 3. Rima purchased a bond in 2018 with a fixed annual growth rate of 6%. If the value of her bond one year later was £185,500, what was the value of her bond at the time she purchased it? The 2018 value is R100%. 6% growth brings us to 106%. 106% as a decimal is 1.06. So 185,500 divided by 1.06 equals 175,000. The answer is again option D. For the last question in this lesson, we have to spice it up a bit. We will do a similar type of question, but this time where the information is presented in a graph. This is very common in the UCAT, so it's important to recognize that despite the graph, the question is actually of the same style as what you've been practicing. Question 4. The profits in 2016 for stall B represent a 31.5% decrease on the profits of that stall in 2015. What were the profits for stall B in 2015 to the nearest £100? I hope you didn't find the chart too intimidating. The figures for 2015 would be our original 100%. This has fallen by 31.5%. 100 minus 31.5 equals 68.5. Look at the chart to find the profits in 2016 for stall B. The number on the blue bar is 0.9. From the title of the chart, we know that this means 0.9 thousand pounds, better known as 900 pounds. This is 68.5% of the profits in 2015. As a decimal, 68.5% is 0.685. 900 pounds divided by 0.685 gives us 1,314 pounds, which rounds up to 1,300, making D the correct answer. We have seen the different ways in which you will be asked to reverse percentage increase or decrease. We hope you now feel confident in this method we've given. At first, it may take you 30 seconds to work everything out, but with time, this really can be reduced to 10 seconds or less and saves you lots of time in the quantitative reasoning subtext. So, get practicing and good luck. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.